Welcome to Joey C TV. Got a very different type of video for you today. This is me going out scouting for uh, places to film. And uh, once in a while I'll do something like that. I'll put up like a vlog video. Tell me what you guys think if you want to see more. Should I start a vlog channel? Should I keep it separate? I don't know. Kind of testing the water. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. This is me, like I said, going out looking for places. And uh, I do go to an abandoned house and you'll see uh, it's only a couple minutes but interesting and uh, this is how I find places and I hope you guys enjoy you're coming with out taking a drive I actually came out to the uh, Casadega area drove some streets behind it and wow it's beautiful I mean look at this really nice houses I like doing this. I like getting out sometimes and just seeing what's around, you know? And uh, Casadega is not that far from where I live. It's probably about half hour. And that looks like an abandoned house right over there. Let's go that way and see. Oh, it says no through traffic. But it may not be an abandoned house, let's see. It's hard to tell, like sometimes, you know, this is me going out looking for places. I decided to come check out Casadega. Actually, uh, uh, questionable. Anyway, it's so beautiful back here. A lot of the, uh, like, two-story houses somewhat reminded me of, you know, up north, these are the houses I would see. And I wonder what's down there. It's so, oh, huh, maybe. I'll just turn around. There's some property back here, probably. Okay, yeah, this is this is not where I needed to go. Let me turn around and exit. As you can see, I was just listening, well, now it's on the backup camera, but I was listening to uh, satellite radio, cranberries came on. I always love the cranberries, especially because it brings back a lot of, of memories when I was in college, they, you know, that's when they came out. So, I don't know, music's always reminded me of like, not, like I could almost chronicle my life by the music that I listened to. But look, here's another body of water. I guess this would be considered a lake, I presume. Pretty nice. And then back here was just some amazing houses. Like, look at this. I would love to have a house like this, an old country style farmhouse. Yeah, this is definitely the way back to uh, Casadega. That looks abandoned, but you never know. It's a cool house. I think that's like a Dutch colonial, they call that. All right, which way do I go? I gotta go left. Okay, so we are getting close back to Casadega. And uh, there's an abandoned place right there. Again, some of these places that are abandoned, well, I can't really definitively say they're abandoned, so we're gonna stay away from that. It's a cool old abandoned house right there. And 
and I'll, I'll take you past uh, the Casadega Hotel in a minute, which I've, you know, we, fo we filmed it at night, but in the daytime, I'll let you get a look at it. And what I, what I came out here for, specifically, there was an abandoned house that I wanted to film, and I honestly don't remember where it is now. But you can see the Casadega sign right there. And we're about to approach the hotel, uh, the Lake Helen cemeteries here with the Devil's Chair. But this is, uh, this is the so-called spiritual camp coming up too. And there's the uh, Hotel Casadega right there. Kind of interesting, right? Neat place. Like I said, we filmed it at night. There it is in the day. There's a couple cars behind me, so I can't go too slow. There's the spiritual camp. And this is, uh, you know, obviously an older, the houses here are older than where we just were, I believe. This is more of a older part of Casadega where the spiritual camp is and the you can come, come get psychic readings. All right, this is actually kind of interesting. I'm wondering, just driving around, now it says cemetery down here, it says dead ends. Let's go check it out. I'm also wondering if this is where those three abandoned houses are that I filmed once by myself, once with Drina and Mike. Again, I don't know the area that well, but it sure looks like the road I would have went down. But if not, what cemetery is down here? That'd be kind of interesting. So bizarre. This may be it. I may have found those houses again inadvertently. This is where I filmed one time by myself, and when I got here, I realized that um, there was people behind it, like some lady screamed or something. <laughs> it scared the heck out of me. I think this is it. If not, I, I, it just looks like it, I guess. I'm not sure. But it'd be kind of interesting to see what cemetery is here as well. Oh, okay. Okay. So, obviously, the cemetery is off limits. Look at that. I mean, I could definitely scale this wall. But there is a very deliberate sign there saying, Warning, no trespassing, and apparently they don't want people here. So, okay. So, I'm in the vicinity of these houses without even realizing it. Look at that. This looks like it would be really fun to explore at night, so maybe I'll have to make a night trip back here. So there's a lot of like warning, no trespassing signs, and obviously a locked gate, so yeah. <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely probably a good idea to move on. Let's see where these houses are. I think I'm in the area. Again, I'm so new to this area in a lot of ways that easily I uh, get lost. Hence, I couldn't find the house that I was looking for today. Yeah, this is where those houses are. All overgrown. I mean, you know, way overgrown. There's actually three abandoned houses, and one of them we looked at, it's not accessible. The other two are. All of them are really, uh, really creepy. But yeah, this is it. I can't believe I, how I found these, just by accident. 
Oh, look, I'm getting a call from the United States. <laughs> I get so many spam calls, guys. It's ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. I probably get, I would say, in a given day, 50. All right, so you'll remember this. And this is how, I mean, this is how scary this place is. I mean, like, these houses are, like, not even... It's really not a neighborhood. It's just some road, random road off the side of the highway, somewhat near Casadega. And just sitting here, look, there's one. Back there. That's, yeah, right there. And then there's, look how, wow, man, this thing's overgrown even since I was last here. There's this one as well. I don't know if you can even see, maybe just a little bit of the roof line. And then there's one at the end of the street um, that has a very new no trespassing sign. I don't think that was there last time. There's a house behind all this. But maybe we could check out one of these houses. Probably wondering what my reluctance is, and my reluctance is I thought I heard somebody move in there. Is anybody in there? torso thing like doll there. This is too moldy. Ooh, too, too moldy. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that video. Till next time, can't wait to make more. Always loving making videos. It's my art, it's what I love to do. I'm actually standing here. This is the town center by where I live. Beautiful place. There's a little walkway here that goes like almost like a park. There's restaurants, there's supermarkets. And uh, anyway, I usually come down here at night. I'll walk, uh, clear my head, and uh, just a fun place to be. But you can come here and let me tell you, you could spend a lot of money at these restaurants. But uh, anyway, cars passing, of course, because I'm filming. Why wouldn't it be? Have a good night.